Listen, loyalty, it is time for us to go ahead and basically do the pack opening that finishes off the six inning program because we got the 90 plus life series pack. Now, if you don't know, what's interesting about this 90 plus life series pack is the simple fact that you don't get to choose which diamond like the previous 85 to 89 overall. It is going to be randomly one of these, I believe, eight diamonds now. And you have a not 50 50 chance, but you still have a good chance to pull either Vlad, Scherzer, or Aaron Judge. Clearly, we're not trying to do that. We're trying to bring in the boys that bring us the stubs. Now, if you're new here, end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that red subscribe button, and show loyalty some love in general. I'm trying to see blues. We've done two pack openings, I believe, and we haven't seen any blues in general. Someone was like, hey, I never seen someone complain after they pull four out of five rare rounds in home run derbies. And I'm like, damn, bro. Is he really that salty that I was complaining? Like, at the end of the day, the reason I'm complaining is because I'm opening not 10 packs. I'm opening not 50 packs. In total, I've opened like over 100 something packs. And to only pull two blues, that hurts. Regardless of how lucky I've been in the past. Like, some people, they pull Mike Trout four or five times. We don't get to do that. Now, we stream each and every single day on Twitch at 1 a.m. Eastern. The link is inside the description box. So please make sure you go ahead and check that out if you are awake at that time. We got a ton of standard packs. This time around, we don't have no Team Affinity packs. And that's because we are done officially with Team Affinity. I thought that was going to be a new stadium, but I'm fine with it not being a new stadium. I need to go ahead and just buy the rest of the classic stadiums available because... Okay, I like seeing that. Our first blue, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. It's gonna be Josh Hader. I see purple, I see pitcher, I know it's Josh Hader. With that hairstyle, I'd be surprised if it wasn't Josh Hader. So that's a solid 7K right there. We're gonna most likely go ahead and get 6 point something K after the 10% cut. But Josh Hader was definitely a pitcher that I was focusing on when I was doing the flipping. And I might still upload a flipping episode I'm not sure though because it is getting pretty late unfortunately today the house was packed in terms of my home so i didn't really have any room or time to actually go ahead and record myself doing any flipping but tomorrow for sure we're gonna do flip to a million and a lot of people have been asking me also are you gonna be playing in the summer circuit are you gonna be playing in the tournament not to be honest i'm most likely not it's just a little bit too early for me i literally wake up at 3 a.m. some not 3 a.m. but I literally go to sleep like 5 a.m. 6 a.m. and then I wake up at like 2 p.m. I would have already lost a couple of games so so far through these standard packs we pulled two for a second I thought the lights were gonna be blue and I was gonna be so so happy but instead I see they are purple and we get Nicholas Castellano so that's a solid 5k so far out of these free packs we've made at least 10k you can never complain when you're making some stubs at the end of the day and I'm happy with that. Now, most of these duplicates, I usually sell them, but I think I'm gonna just leave them in my inventory for the next time we have exchanges to do. That way, I don't even have to do exchanges anymore because I'm telling you right now, going through each and every single card and doing the exchanges for each and every single card, it just gets annoying. It gets really, really annoying, really, really fast. I wish that for the evolution programs, they would give us more exchange points or yeah exchange points for the evolution programs and the player programs instead of a plus five let's go ahead and knock out this classic pack nice we get a couple of stadiums we don't have available to us diamond ball player this one doesn't really matter i want legendary call although that would have been the best one and then we'll take the perks that we don't have as well and then the kitchen sink pack let's see what's available for us we have sean green evan longoria Fergie Jenkins, and then last but not least, Ryan Braun. I also need to buy... Oh, snap! We actually got the really good round. I did not expect that. I think... I want to take a milestone card, but I have less signature series cards than anything else, so I will take Evan Longoria in this case. Now, I need to buy the new headliners that came out. Michael Young. We'll go ahead and review him really quickly. I already got one of these Oral Hershizers, so I don't need any other Oral Hershizer and then Brian Roberts that's a milestone card that I would not be against getting and let's see if that's what we end up pulling 
And if you guys hear some music in the background, just know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be loud in New York, especially driving around. Dominicans, Hispanics in general, they be blasting that music. And we get a purple, Marcus Simeon. All right, you know what I'm saying? You can't complain. We made some nice stubs. Now, in total, this will be about 29 Ball and Is a Habit packs. And in uh, as of right now, 25 we have yet to pull a blue and the odds are supposed to be 1 in 15 so there's that Christian Yelich used to be a diamond I'm happy that I'm seeing two golds though that usually doesn't happen and I'm seeing it quite often right now so I'm pretty happy about that Trevor Rogers and then last but not least let's see who's available for us so 29 packs so far bowling is a habit streak of not pulling a damn gold or diamond, I should say. 90 plus. Are you serious? You gave me... That has to be Tatis. If that's Vlad, I'm going to be tighter. But I can't tell. So let's review this card. Michael Young. Oh, that's all I can tell you. Your Team Affinity Season 3 cards are going to be a much better shortstop, but he is pretty decent. Once you parallel him up, he's going to have great power against right-handers and then great power against left-handers in terms of meeting the threshold once he's parallel 3. Gold fielding, he's going to have gold reaction at parallel 2 with 58 speed. Not bad, but it's an L because we have much better cards available already, especially for the price that he's probably selling at right now. But if you are a Texas Rangers diehard fan, and obviously you're gonna love having Michael Young. And don't think we broke, we not broke. We just have a ton of buy orders in Mike Trout in order to make it seem like we're broke. As you guys know the saying, they say make it till you, or fake it till you make it. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing it. I'm faking it until I make it. So let's go, five headliners, one in 10 odds. So these are the packs that have the highest odds actually of bringing you a diamond. Besides, you know, the guaranteed Life Series diamond pack, okay. I'm happy seeing the blue here and we see green that's most likely Michael Young I don't know who else that could be I don't know who else that could be okay we got him so I'm not gonna sell him either because like I said in terms of collections if we go really quickly in my collection section when we look at signature series players I literally only have four five actually so when the next collection comes out, I don't want to be paying too much in terms of signature series players inside the community market. So signature series players like Michael Young, he's probably selling pretty cheap currently for what he's going to be selling in the future whenever that new collections reward comes out. When is that new collections reward going to come out? I'm not sure. We're going to have to see what the schedule looks like after the 30th, but I would have to say it's coming out within a month. Now, if you did end up enjoying today's little pack opening, make sure you go ahead and check out uh, the previous video, which is basically preparing you for the summer circuit. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.